Hello, and welcome to a review of audit and compliance reports in Tenable Vulnerability Management. Today, we'll be taking a look at what report templates we have right out of the box, how to create a report template and customize it, then export or schedule the results for delivery. So to get started to find new report templates, let's navigate to the hamburger menu in the upper left-hand corner, then click on Act, and then Reports. From here, we can click on Create New Report, which will take us to the predefined report templates. As you can see here, we have the same kind of variety in templates for PDF-based reports as we do for the dashboard segment of the product. We can select Compliance Framework from the Template menu, and then from the drop-down menu, select a report template that best matches our needs. In this case, I'll go ahead and select PCI DSS v4.0 Audit Details. And then we can see a description of the report underneath. From here, I'll click on Generate Report. From this pane, we can then enter a name for the template. And you can see under the executive summary that the report is pre-populated with widgets from the PCI DSS dashboard. Under Additional Chapters, we actually have a raw data breakdown of each of the subsections of PCI DSS that a QSA or auditor would care about. You can customize these reports in a variety of ways. In the upper right, we can choose Edit Filter, which allows us to select specific asset tags or IP ranges for assets that you want to be included in the report. Much like in dashboards, this allows you to create team-specific or region-specific reports, which is very useful for day-to-day -day operations. You can also load a custom logo to the report header using the Update Logo button in the upper right as well. Finally, we can add widgets from our widget library or additional chapters by clicking underneath the subheading, hovering over Widget Library. And then from here, we have the ability to add a new widget. Once done, we can go ahead and click Done. Scroll down, make sure that the report is set up the way that we like, and then click Save to save the report. Navigating back to the Reports pane, once your report has been created, we can go ahead and run these reports in order to collect the results. So to do that, we'll go ahead and click on the three-dot menu on the right. And from here, we can either directly generate a report or schedule a report to be run on a regular basis. All results, whether run on demand or scheduled, can be found under the Report Results tab at the top of the pane. These results can either be immediately downloaded or emailed to a user via Secure Portal for download. Those options are located here on the three-dot menu on the right. And that wraps up the review of the audit and compliance reporting now available in Tenable Vulnerability Management. Thanks very much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.